Can you put Ziploc bags in the microwave and what happens if you do? Now, obviously you're not gonna put a box like this in there, but maybe you've got something inside the Ziploc bag that you want to warm up. Maybe you've got some drink or some water or some soup, or sometimes I'll actually store frozen spaghetti sauce in these just because it's easy to store. And maybe you want to defrost it and warm it up. So in today's video, we're going to see whether or not you can put Ziploc bags in the microwave and what happens if you do. So to start with, let's just put a Ziploc bag straight in there and we'll go ahead and put this on for one minute and see if anything happens to the Ziploc bag. Okay, so it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and open it. Ziploc bag is warm to touch, but obviously nothing has really happened to it. So now we're gonna go ahead and put some water in the Ziploc bag. Just pour a little bit in there, as you can see. And we're gonna put this in the microwave and see what happens. Obviously the water is going to heat up. Eventually that water is going to boil and maybe it will melt through the bag and we'll have water going everywhere in here. So we'll start with one minute, but I think we might need to do a couple of minutes to actually see this in action. So let's start with one minute and see what happens. Okay, so it's been one minute. Let's go ahead, open it up. Oh, we can see that the air has obviously expanded in there. We've got some steam happening that's something that I didn't think about. Oh, and that's quite hot. That water's quite warm. It hasn't melted through, but it's definitely warm water. Let's go ahead and check with our thermometer. How hot is that? That 98, 37 degrees Celsius. It's definitely hotter than that. Um, my thermometer is not reading that properly at all. Maybe it's reading through yeah, it's kind of bouncing all around there. As you can see, it's not able to get a clear reading, maybe something to do with the plastic, but that, that, that's pretty hot, not boiling, maybe, you know, 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's empty out the air in here and then put it in for another minute and see what happens. So I got most of the air out of the bag. There's still a little bit in there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that in for another minute. My guess is the plastic's going to melt. But let's go ahead, close it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I heard a bit of a pop there. Okay, it's been another minute, around 45 seconds, I heard a bit of a pop. I don't know if that, okay, yeah, we can see that the top has popped open. This plastic feels really thin and kind of like sticks together. See how it sticks together like that? I'm a bit nervous to, touch this oh it just looks so thin and just sticky especially down the bottom here where the water is it's kind of like the plastics melting whereas up the top it's a bit more normal oh but as you can see that plastics really kind of sticking together it definitely can't be good for it also got a bit of a plastic smell coming out uh, so I imagine the plastics melting Look, we're gonna do another 30 seconds and see how we go. Probably not a smart idea to be doing this. Don't try this at home. Okay, we gave it another 30 seconds. Here we go, our Ziploc bag is looking very sad. Very nervous to touch it. I obviously don't wanna burn myself. Ugh, the water's all coming out of it. It didn't burn a hole. I kind of expected a hole to be burnt through it. But as you can see, the bag is, it's a sad version of its former self. It's still actually holding its shape, but it, it feels physically different, like the plastic has changed. And I would imagine that if you did this long enough, that it would actually burn a hole through. So, I don't know, all right. Let's go again, another minute, doing it for science. Okay, there is another minute. Go ahead, open this up. I can see the water boiling. You can see that it's boiling there. There's water everywhere. It still hasn't 
It still hasn't broken the bag though. Even though we've got boiling water in there, still hasn't caused any holes in the bag. The bag's stuck together up the top here. Like actually, yeah, it's like actually molded together at the top. Oh, well, it kind of comes apart. Oh, so hot to touch. Bag is still, it's still going though. Okay, let's, let's dry this up. We're going to do another two minutes. Personally, I would not want to eat anything out of that. I would not feel safe about that not adding things into the water or whatever I have in my Ziploc bag. So at this temperature, it's probably not safe and could cause cancer, but we'll do another two minutes and we'll see if the bag holds up. Okay, so it's been another two minutes. Let's go ahead, open this up. Definitely bubbling and boiling in there. The bag <laughs> does not look great. But hey, it didn't break. It's, it's still going strong. Uh, <laughs> definitely doesn't look as good as a fresh one. But here. Here we go, fresh bag here compared to microwave Ziploc bag. Can you see any difference? So in summary, can you microwave Ziploc bags? Yes, you can. For a short period of time, it seemed to be fine, but as soon as you start exposing them to long times in the microwave or high heat, then they start to deform really quickly and they may be a health hazard leaking plastics into the food that's inside there. So I would definitely advise getting the stuff out of your Ziploc bag and putting it on a plate or in a bowl or cup or something like that. I personally wouldn't put Ziploc bags in the microwave. You can see what happened to it, but I'll leave it up to you to decide. Go ahead and check out the video that I did on whether or not you can put cup of soup in the microwave. We did have some sparks with that one. Check out that video as well as whether or not you can put styrofoam cups in there. So really excited to share those with you. Check them out. And until next time, stay cool.